Hey everybody. Um, so I'm working on a scene t today that involves a waiter walking through the room holding a tray of drinks. And so I wanted to explore what's the best way to pull this off. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is that we might attach the tray to the waiter's hand and then either keyframe the hand to be steady or perhaps we mask out um, what would be a normal walking animation from the hand. Um, and then there's another way where perhaps we attach the tray to the waiter and then use a reach target on the hand to, um, to keep the hand attached to the tray while the tray is linked to the body. So let's, let's explore this today. Um, I've got my waiter, waitress character in here and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make three different versions of them because I'm going to look at three different methods, okay? Um, and then let's go ahead and create ourselves a tray of drinks. Uh, let's see, very quickly, not stage, props. We're going to use just some basic 3D blocks. We'll go down to the containers and this will be a good one to use. Shrink it down like that. Maybe a little more. Okay. And we're going to bring it up, kind of position it a little bit. You know what? Before we do that, we'll toss a, a drink or two on there. So we're going to undo. We're going to make ourselves a nice little glass. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to duplicate it a few times and attach it to, we'll just do four, attach it to the tray. Okay, like so. And then I'm just going to attach those four drinks. our tray and then we have a tray of drinks for our waiter we'll duplicate it three times one for each waitress sorry waitress not waiter all right there we go one for waitress one one for waitress two and one for waitress three all right so um, the first method uh, probably the easiest method. Let's use the, um, what we're going to do for this one, we're going to use the motion puppet and we're going to mask out the hand. So we'll use the motion puppet for a walking motion. We'll keyframe the walking from one place to another and then we'll mask out the hand from that motion and the tray will be attached to the hand. Okay. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and attach that hand or, or position the hand. Let's bum, bum, bum. lower, put it over here and let's roll it over. Knock it back a little bit. There we go. We can change the position of the drinks in just a second. Let's flatten that out just a little bit. Okay. That's pretty good right there for now. Yeah, that's not bad. Then we'll move the drink tray over to the hand a little bit. Sorry, here we go. So we'll center that about right there. Take a look at it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Um, you see her thumb there is protruding through just a touch. Uh, easy to fix very quickly. We'll just change that thumb, pull it down a little bit. Let's see. Still there. There we go. Good. Perfect. So now I'm going to attach the tray to the hand. 
link or attach, either one is fine. It's on the hand, wonderful. And then we're going to use the motion puppet. And we're going to use the move and a basic move, basic walk. Uh, female, the male one's actually one that I prefer, but you know, the, the female ones should be fine. Let's take a look. Oh, and we'll mask it out, right? We're going to mask out that arm and that hand. And that looks like the beginning of something just fine. Okay, that works for me. We'll give me, um, let's record five seconds. Good enough. And that's, that's pretty easy. Not, not a big deal, right? Um, but, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan. It, it's difficult to, um, when you're using the motion puppet, to get a lot of foot sliding and, and such. Um, I know Rampa had... Uh, released that walkie McWalk face which uses these same motions but I don't know how to take out well I guess we, we could look at that later but um, okay so we'll go to the beginning keyframe uh, for the transform and then we'll go five seconds in that's fine and we will move her out to there. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, I hate the when when you're doing the transition with this. The default makes that slide particularly bad at the beginning. There we go. That's a little better. Obviously, she's not moving enough. The sliding is big. Oops. Let me grab this. We'll pull it out further. See how that looks. That's she's still sliding a good bit to start. Okay, so that's number one, and it doesn't look bad. We look at the tray. Um, it's not bad. It's moving around a little bit with her arm. Not terrible, but you know, one of the things that I like about the new iClone 8 is the motion director. Um, it's handy. I think that it, it makes the characters look very fluid. Uh, so let's use Motion Director. Um, one, two, and three. Make sure I got these. Let's name. Let's name our characters very quickly so that we uh, don't have any confusion. Gal one. Gal two. Gal three. Highlighting Gal two. Go to the Motion Director. We're going to take off Gal one and Gal three. We're going to put that there, that there, and I'm going to hit start, which will ask me to apply the load the character dialog. If she's female, apply. I have had uh, motion director crashing a good bit on me lately, so let's let's cross our fingers that this this works properly. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll cut this part out of the uh, <laughs> out of the video. Okay, there we go. And then press OK. And then we're going to cancel this part because I don't want any of that. And immediately, there she goes. And that's good. And we'll stop. This is usually where it crashes on me. Yeah, didn't crash. Wonderful. Okay. But she's not carrying the tray, obviously, and the tray just sits there. But she's got a nice, lovely, natural walk. There's no foot sliding going on, so that's all working out quite well. Um, okay, so how would I do this? Now, I think I mentioned it before. One way to do it, let's attach the tray to, say, her hip or to the, the, new, the, the root node. Um, so we'll come down here, we'll look for the attach, pick the parent, and here we are on the pelvis. Let's look, see what that looks like. See how it, it's not, it's flopping around a little bit, maybe too much. Let's see what it looks like on the root node.
That's a lot more steady right there. All right. Okay. That's fine. So, and now all we got to do is we will position her hand. Similar to what we did the first with the first waitress. Flip it over. And you know, that's fine. We'll move the tray to the hand a little bit. Back it up, pop it up just to there. Let's take a look. Mm. All right, we'll adjust her hand a little bit more, flatten it out a touch, similar to how we did with the other girl, the other waitress. pretty good right there okay and then the last step reach target we re we use the reach target onto can which is our tray okay let's see how that looks pretty good not bad and then it also you get a diff slightly different um, effect depending on what it's attached to, right? So we go back to the tray. Um, let's say we attach that tray to, like I said before, maybe the, sp the hips, the spine, spine two. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good to me, honestly. It's, it's flipping a little bit, not much. All right, that's a pretty good result right there. I think it looks more natural than this one. So I'm actually a bigger fan of the second technique over the first technique. This looks pretty, um, the first technique looks pretty static. It's, it's a little too static to me. Whereas using the reach, um, the, re the reach effector with the hand, that, that looks a little better to me. But you know, my, your mileage may vary. Perhaps you think the, the first technique will work better. Now, um, the third technique is similar to the first one. What I want to do is I'm going to attach... Um, I'm going to attach the tray to the hand. I'm going to use the motion director. And then we're going to zoom into the motion and then cut out all of the animation that's on her... What is that? The right? Her right hand right arm so that that will remain steady okay let's try that similar to the first one but using the motion director okay uh, da, 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 da. in fact let's just let's use the motion director on our third girl first before we worry about attaching anything gal number three motion director change that from gal two to gal three Change that, change that, start, add the, load the character dialog, female, apply, uh, give it a minute. Do, 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 Okay, there we go. Okay. What if I can take this off? I think I may have made a little mistake by leaving that record on. Cancel. Let's. Okay, that works. Stop. Let's see. Yeah, that works for me. Good. Okay. Now it starts in the first frame, so let's now position her hand in the first frame, similar to what we did with the first two. Dun, dun, dun. Motion. 
Okay. Get that hand out there. We'll carry the tray. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Uh, is it a Looney Tunes? I think it might be a little Looney Tunes song. The do 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 do. Kind of the machinery song that they would play. I always use that when there's a time thing. I know some people might use the um, uh, what is that game show? Boo, boo, uh, no. <laughs> I can't think. Alex Trebek, uh, Jeopardy, the Jeopardy theme song when they want time to pass. I end up using the theme song from one of the Looney Tunes. I uh, guess it's just a different era. Okay, pull that up. Fingers are going through a little bit. We'll just pull it down. That should be fine. You make little adjustments. Fix it as best you can. Now, uh, we're going to attach the tray to the hand. Similar to how we did it in our first one. However, because the animation is already set, it's going to be a mess, right? So, let's see. Yeah, I think those drinks would be uh, <laughs> falling off the tray at this point. So let's see if we can go into the animation itself and get rid of what's happening with her arm. Okay, uh, it's this motion director clip. If you open it up, open up the motion, you don't see anything here, right? So what we're going to need to do, right click on the motion director clip. Let's see what we got. Um, sample motion clip to a new layer. Sample all parts, sample all parts optimized, sample selected parts. Let's see what we can do with this one. Now, if I select it is her, her right arm, let's see what happens with this. Sample. Okay, and we've got a lot of clips for her right arm starting, but we know that clip number one, she's positioned properly. But right here, see all of that, and what happens if I kill all that? The whole row, just in her arm. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, look at that, see? Now we've gotten rid of the animation as it affects her arm and it rolls pretty steady to the end. So there you go, a third technique to get this done and you could decide which one you like. I still feel the first one is way too static. The second one's not terrible. Um, I mean I think the animation is better using the motion director but I think my personal opinion would still be the second technique here where we're using the reach target somehow that feels more organic to me but there you go three separate techniques um, to get your uh, waitress character carrying a tray okay hopefully somebody might find this helpful um, but that's going to do it for this one uh, film on or what not take care